Hey guys, how's it? Do you hear that? Hang on, something fishy's going on. Just a second. A clean child. My name is Chad Chad. Not really. And today we're going to talk about conspiracies. Is the earth flat? Was the moon landing faked? Is Florida a real place? These are just a number of things that we may never know the answer to. Whenever something happens to people that we think is weird or we can't really explain, we like to make it up because conspiracies are like hemorrhoids. We all got them, right? I think we all have hemorrhoids, okay? When I was a kid, I had a theory that all of my toys could walk around and even talk to each other. And it turns out I was a really stupid kid. But the thing about conspiracies is that you can't be wrong. If you say that you think the sky is actually red and orange, which it probably will be soon, no one can tell you that you're wrong. Conspiracies are kind of like lying, but without the consequences. Unless you're a big fan of conspiracies and you disagree with what I just said, in which case what I just said was a conspiracy. The internet has led to an endless sea of theories. The butterfly effect, the Mandalorian effect, the mass effect, and we're sick of those. There were literal UFOs flying around last week and nobody cared. We're tired of aliens. Alien, how about Ali out? Boo, boo, boring, get the fuck out, go. Leave. <laughs> the best thing about TikTok and the worst thing about TikTok is that everyone has an opinion. So now that sea of theories, a conspiracy, if you will, has become a bigger, more confusing sea. I don't know if this is a conspiracy or not, but I heard there were a myriad of robots. The researchers were realizing that these things were getting way too smart. One of them somehow wasn't fully disabled, connects to a f***ing satellite, reassembles itself, starts telling its counterparts how to reassemble itself. The researchers come back in and these things killed all of them. Oh. They claimed like 15 or 20 lives before they were able to be dismantled and, and turned <laughs> off by authorities, right? Have you guys heard of this new conspiracy? It's called uh, something. It's um, Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm not sure why, but the person listening to this thinks it's hilarious. They claimed like 15 or 20 lives before they were able to be dismantled and, and turned <laughs> off by authorities, right? It doesn't really match the tone of the story. And then the murderous robots burst through the door and slaughtered all of them. <laughs> I know, I know. It's so funny. <laughs> The story always kills. But you know who else is killing it is today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Wouldn't it be great if the fresh ingredients and recipes you needed to make home cooked meals just showed up on your doorstep every week? Man, that would be really cool. I wish that could happen. It can happen. It can happen. With HelloFresh, you don't have to make lists or stand in line at the store. You just go online, choose from 40 weekly meal options, then whip it up using their easy to follow recipes. Every step is explained in simple to the point instructions along with pictures so that you can keep up with what your food should should look like at each stage. Everything is pre-proportioned so that there's little to no food waste and you can customize your meals by swapping out sides or types of protein. They also have a lot of veggie options that use seasonal ingredients picked at peak ripeness. Plus it's cheaper than eating at a restaurant and you don't have to change out of your laying around the house pajamas and into your going out in public pajamas. It's a win-win for Din Din. You do still have to do your own dishes though. Or don't, I'm not your mom. If you wanna check them out, just go to hellofresh.com and use code chadchad60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Again, that's chadchad60 for 60% off at hellofresh.com. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today and let's get back to the video. Now that we've moved on from aliens, we finally have time to talk about more interesting things like doors. If giants aren't real, who built this and why? This person is gonna lose their mind when they find out about skyscrapers. Who the heck did this? This is too big. I like to imagine the creator of this TikTok doesn't really believe in giants, but is actually just the person who made this door. You, uh, you notice that top latch? It's actually really complex. Yeah, I heard it took her like 15 years to finish it. It's super impressive. Yeah, I would have sex with that person if I could. But it turns out the real giants are busy protecting our entire planet. It is down there. Giant monsters. Uh, they're a natural defense mechanism from the planet. Could you give me an example of what one of these giants looked like? I only have one personal experience that I was there for, saw with my own eyes, and experienced with my own five senses. Oh, you only saw the 300 foot tall billion year old giant monsters once? One time? <laughs> Lame. Something that resembles a big furry primate, like a sloth that walks on its hands and is 
covered with hair. So the giant monsters are furry, and you experience them with all five of your senses. All five of them? It was for research, guys. I had to taste the furry primate genitals. I mean giant genitals. I mean giant genitals. I mean genitals. So you're saying that a giant sloth doing handstands is the only thing protecting our planet? So we're fucked. Oh my god, help! These giant space worms are eating my family! Not to fear, the sloth is here! Oh, thank god. Thank you. Yep, I'm on it. Thank you so much. Yep, we'll get right on that. Okay. When? Just give me a second, God. If you take a picture of a $1 bill on the back. It looks like an alien. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you actually, well, you turn the, you turn the contrast all the way up. The contrast reveals an alien head and the face, the eyes, everything. It's kind of, it's kind of genius. Did you know that if you completely change the physical appearance of something, the physical appearance of that thing, it completely changes. This is like the opposite of those zoom enhanced tropes in FBI shows. We got a shot of their plates. Put it on screen. Huh, zoom out. Keep going. Turn up the contrast. Turn down the contrast. Set it on fire. Dehance. We got him. Yes. It's kind of genius. What's in your pocket? Yeah, Roswell. Did you just say Roswell is in your pocket? It's a big ass pocket. Is that a southeastern city from New Mexico in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? It is a city? Okay. What I hate about a lot of conspiracy TikToks is that sometimes they'll forget to include the conspiracy part. Because let's say that yes, if you mess with a $1 bill, it does look like an alien. But then what? That's not a theory. Are you implying that aliens live inside $1 bills like little hermit crabs? Or are you implying that the government is run by aliens? Because that's ridiculous. Everyone already knows that. Okay, so here's a $1 bill. I'm gonna see if we can find the alien that lives inside of it. Oh my God, you guys. Look at that. Guys, they live among us. This video has been going around on social media of a man who found a mosquito with the number 38 printed on its body. And then the next day he found another one with a different number printed on its body. And of course, there's been a conspiracy. Maybe the mosquito is just like getting tattoos. Did you think of that? What, because they're parasites, they aren't allowed to express themselves? Plenty of parasites have tattoos. Just look at Jeffree Star. I'm not a scientist, but I feel like this is a pretty common thing. We also track like bees and lobsters. We just put numbers on them so we can track their every move and study their behaviors and see where they are and what they're doing. And spy on them without their knowledge. And I think that guys, I think we're the aliens. The mosquitoes probably have documentaries about us. Y'all, I am freaking out right now. There's a lot of unexplained things going on in the ocean right now. Just watch this real quick for me. You get to Mars by going through the ocean. You can't get to the bottom of the ocean. Um, I'm pretty sure that the ocean has a bottom. Because outer space is the ocean. Otherwise, how does the water stay there? If there was actually space underneath, then the gravity would suck all of the water out. The water would be gone. The ocean would be more like a notion. Now, there's a situation called the firmament. So we know that water is all around us. And it is said that this dome divided the sea into upper and lower sections. You can't cancel this out because they still haven't discovered 80% of the sea. Yes, I can. Call me algebra because I can cancel out whatever the fuck I want. I haven't discovered 80% of Pennsylvania, but that doesn't mean that it's a portal that'll take me to Mars. It just means I've never been to Pennsylvania. She goes on to say that deep sea fish are probably aliens since the ocean is space now. They keep up and then cites the 2020 film Underwater as the basis for that. If y'all have ever watched this movie Underwater, they went too deep and found the creature that don't even look like it's supposed to be from this earth. But if you're trying to strengthen an argument, I don't know if referencing a Kristen Stewart movie is the best idea. And therefore, my witness is innocent on all counts. Stalking a 17-year-old? Innocent. Twilight 2008. Robbing a bank with two accomplices? Catch that kid. 2004. Consuming the blood of an innocent human? Breaking Dawn 2011. Also, Your Honor, she's a mosquito. Yeah. Hi. It, and I still have malaria. Does anyone actually still watch the moon landing footage and think it's real? Okay, but whether you believe in the moon landing or not, you can do this to anything and then claim it's not real. You have made them look silly. Of course we don't believe them. Have you ever been to Pennsylvania? Yeah. conspiracy that stayed pretty consistent on TikTok is that all celebrities are lizard people. What that involves is usually pretty vague. It's just if they say something weird or if they do something lizard-like, it means that they eat children like lizards do. I, I can say clone. I want to say clone. All right, so there's like a clone. Right, right. When it comes out, 
Hey, let's get a selfie real quick. Let's hop in for a selfie. Of course, it's shown through the form of joking to make the average mind automatically assume it's a joke, even though it was never stated to be a joke or a lie. Reverse psychology. I don't think this is reverse psychology. Reverse psychology would be if Will Smith posted a TikTok like, hey guys, just wanna let you know, I am a reptilian shapeshifter. It's true, all of your theories are correct. I can control minds. Well, in fact, I'm doing it right now. Do not watch Gemini Man in theaters December 11th, 2019. That would be a terrible idea. In fact, I forbid you from not seeing not it. See that it is the worst thing you can do. If you leave your house on that day, you will die. I will kill you. These are disturbing facts about the Teletubbies. When I was little, I loved the Teletubby, but looking back, it was pretty creepy. The giant sun in the sky that has a baby's face, and the fact that their mom is a vacuum cleaner. And there are some conspiracies that think that the baby sun in the sky is actually a demon. And that the mom vacuum cleaner is actually one of Satan's helpers. That part is true. My cat also thinks that the vacuum cleaner is Satan's helper. I don't understand why out of all the shows from the 90s, the Teletubbies is the one we're worried about. Why? Because they're 10 feet tall and have Furby eyes? Giant suits made out of felt was just the formula for shows in the 90s, like Barney the Purple Dinosaur, AKA the world's first furry. And do you remember Big Bird? That was a thousand percent a demon. What if we have a giant bird with dead eyes and uh, a gaping mouth teach kids about the US census. It'll be fun. How many people live in your home? Have you heard about the dark conspiracy theory that surrounds the Teletubbies? Well, it's f it. First piece of evidence is that they have a female voice that seems to come from the ground always telling them what to do. Like who the f does she think she is and what's underground? I don't think anyone who made a conspiracy TikTok about the Teletubbies actually watched an episode of the Teletubbies first. All they do is eat toast and pudding and splash around in puddles. And the demon voice in the pipe, when it comes out of the ground, it makes a continuous wet fart sound. What's that, Satan? You want me to eat breakfast foods and frolic around in a field of flowers with three of my closest friends? Satan, that sounds like shit. I actually did watch an episode of Teletubbies for this video, and it was kind of weird. It wasn't really how I remembered it being, but here, I'll just show you. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna call it there guys thank you for subscribing and if you are still here thank you so much for watching i appreciate you clicking on my video out of all the videos that are on here and i'll see you next time okay bye